What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and in today's Packers draft pick film room, we're going to look at Virginia wide receiver Dontavian Wicks and really talk about which version of Wicks the Packers are getting. Now, what do we mean by which version? Well, he had two very different seasons between 2021 and 2022. When you look on the screen right now, I mean, 2021, 57 catches, 1,201 yards, nine touchdowns, good for over 21 yards per reception, over three yards per route run, 18.5 yards of average depth of target, an 8.1 drop percentage, and winning over 50% of his contested opportunities. 2022, different story. Actually missed two of the 10 games for Virginia. Just caught 30 passes for 430 yards and two touchdowns. Just 14 yards per reception, 1.45 yards per route run, four yards of ADOT dropped, and then the drop percentage, 23% drop percentage that is not very good and only winning three of 14 contested balls so that's a big difference when you look at 2021 to 2022 and there are other factors that contributed to this and that's why we're going to dive into the film room right now and take a look at wicks versus illinois in both 21 and 22 and kind of see if there's any difference that we can pick out so off to the film room we go on wicks all right guys here we go into the film room taking a look at dontavian wicks like we said Illinois games, back-to-back -back seasons. Just take a look at, again, one of the better secondaries in college football. See if anything, you know, as, as Illinois secondary play went up between the two seasons. If that affected Wicks, you know, I, like we said, there's a lot of extenuating circumstances that went to the production drop. But, you know, there are some things that definitely were on Wicks as well. So let's get into it here. First one, bottom of your screen. Uh, this is a good job of just stutter step, work through contact to stack and to get open vertically. And that's what's interesting about Wicks is he was able to win vertically without having that top end explosiveness and speed, right? He's running in the high four fives, low four sixes. That's a great numbers, but he did a good job there staving off contact, working through it, using some stutter steps in the stem to generate some separation. And that's that's really his game. His, his game is deception, manipulation, to, to work to get open that's his game he's not overly sudden or quick he's not overly explosive but he does a good job with a lot of things to, to get open and that's how he's going to have to win at the next level here this is a great job right so we're going to get to the top of this break plants extremely hard to sell the out route stays efficient through that double move and we are gone here for an easy touchdown it, it's it, it can be as simple as that folks right the, the double moves just being violent with your plant foot and being efficient through that double move break to really fool the defender. He did it with everything there, head, shoulders, the whole nine yards. Good split release into contact here. Again, he's just not overly explosive, right? We're not going to be able to climb and win late with a lot of explosiveness. That's just not his game. But what he can do is stay efficient through the route breaks, right? Not a lot of yards displacement here. Sink the hips, turn, and look how much room we've generated uh, in terms of separation on that kind of curl route for him there. Now, this is one of my favorites for him, right? He's You can see Illinois to be slightly shaded inside. So what does Wicks do, right? Shuffle release. He's gaining ground, opening up the two-way go here, while also making sure he kind of leverage stepped to square him up perfectly. Illinois defender is maybe anticipating a slant. He's seen it a lot from Wicks. Does a great job selling with a jab step. And then has some acceleration. He wins the fade route. This throw just needs to be earlier. It can't be that late, and it can't be out of the end zone. So, again, Wicks does a great job there on the fade route. I really liked what I saw there from him. This is one of the things where it's just, again, when he loses that contact early here and, and, and he doesn't have that leverage in terms of hand swipes, winning through contact, he kind of gets erased a little bit here. This is Devin Witherspoon, who we know very well, obviously, kind of gets a, a, too much of a hold on him and he can't get open. Again, same thing on the top here. Again, split release, squares him up. And again, he's just not going to be able to climb to stack very much. Again, he can sometimes manipulate with route tempo and that that gives him an advantage. But here he's just not going to be able to stack that way. It's it's That's what makes it difficult trying to project him because of the fact that there just really isn't that suddenness or explosiveness. But what do we see here? With off coverage, no press, really. This is pretty soft. Square. This is good. 
this is good timing if you can see it right the hand swipe he times it well that's how he can do it right if a db squatting to make sure he's going to catch you and initiate some contact if you can time your swipes while you're moving again winning the go route down the field good track of the football tracks it well into his hands now we shift over 2022 illinois game they faced a lot more off man here right and and I think with this rep with Wicks, it's just about maybe more of a route salesman, maybe more of a vertical press with his route here because I do think, again, it just feels a little sluggish. And he's really, there's no manipulation here and kind of like, all right, I'm going to win this over route. He kind of had to decelerate into that break. Speed turn, not very good. He loses some leverage with this depth that he kind of created when he turned. So he loses a bit there and that allows the defender to climb back into the window. So not overall the best rep there on the dig route from Wicks. I think he there there he gets better over time here. This is a good shuffle release jab, right press vertically, and then quickly really efficiently on that forty five degree turn there on that forty five degree break to win the slant route. Did a pretty good job there overall. This is again one of those things where again he gained ground jab step, but the contact there gets him thrown off. He doesn't time the hand swipes very well. So now he's losing momentum, right? He's he's not getting into this route when he needs to. Now he has to kind of climb back vertically to press a little bit. He does give himself a bit of a window, but it's a little too late, right? The defender has already dropped into the window. So again, it's a little bit of timing disruption when he doesn't win with those those hand swipes that that causes some issues. Here, this is, again, this is why the biggest, I think, difference we saw from Wicks between 2021 and 2022, and you saw it in the graphic as well. Boy, we got to finish this one. Drops right through the hands. And and again, he struggled. A lot of drops. Drop rate went up. This stuff cannot fly at the next level again. Again, guys drop the football. There's no doubt about it. But like, we can't have that. That that can't be happening consistently. We That, that, that hopefully is an aberration. It's not... Um, a trend it's not indicative of what's to come for him this is a good job though up top here as we get into this next rep good job kind of again working inside leverage a little bit then pressing a little bit more back back to the outside right into his stem gets the defender to turn towards the outside and now he's got this rep one separation throw is low again can you secure that throw sure but can the quarterback put a good one on you Yes, he can. Why? Watch the quarterback. Why are, why are we drifting? Why are we drifting into this? Again, it's a good anticipatory throw, but we can't be drifting back in the face of pressure, right? Our guys won his route. We need to help him out. Same thing here. This is, again, a good little stutter step there. If you saw it, I'll go back. It's, it's subtle, right? That little stutter, and then he wins the fade route down the field again, Throw is way short, but if we were not watching, this is a protection issue. Uh, we can't be letting the free guy get through an A gap. Got to let this guy be the guy who's unblocked on the outside here. Can't let a free rusher come up in the middle in your face. And we've already seen Armstrong, their quarterback, already drift back in the face of pressure. What do you think he's going to do that time? So, again, quarterback play has certainly contributed to this. Definitely, uh, of course, he missed two games as well, but th there's... There's definitely things to improve upon, right? Okay, jab step here. Does a good job, you know, dipping a little bit to get around contact. Then he wins a little more vertically here. Again, this is how he wins vertically, right? It's it's either A, it's avoiding contact. It's, it's well-timed hand strikes. It's a little bit of pacing and tempo. That's how he won down the field a lot. Double moves as well. Again, the wheel was open, so quarterbacks go in there, not to him. But again, that's he's open on the post route for sure. Again, another kind of more split release, but he's jabbing a little bit to the outside, getting to your stem, press a little bit. Again, the window's not huge, but he has kind of won this rep pretty well. I, I mean, the, the corner's in his hip pocket, but still he's avoiding contact as, as, as much as possible there. I think it's a pretty strong one from him. Again, for a guy who's not overly sudden as a player, that's what's going to happen. So this one, it's against zone coverage. We're open here. Quarterback's winding up. This is on kind of everybody, right? Quarterback doesn't need to throw it this high. Um, 
Again, he I know he's trying to layer it over defenders. He's leading Wicks into the end zone and back out of the end zone. So ideally, we're not doing that and we're letting him go make the play. But Wicks needs to be able to identify the fact that, all right, I need to know where this back end line is. When I go up and get the football, should I have, should I have put my back to the end zone? Probably not. Should I have been more cautious and more spatially aware? Absolutely. But again, this is also a little bit on the throw. So it's, again, you can call it on both parties. So Dontavian Wicks, what do we see, right? I think manipulation, right, route tempo, a lot of the fundamentals of route running is what's there. He stays efficient in the breaks very much so. But again, he's not overly sudden and not overly explosive. Those are two kind of calling cards, at least in the short area, that that a lot of successful receivers have. And again, he's a day three pick, so should expectations be low for sure, right? Should they even be as high as maybe Romeo Dobbs last year? I don't think they should. Right, but this is a guy who's going to provide depth to this receiver room, and, and he is young like the rest of the receiver room is. But what version the Packers could get from Wicks is obviously hopefully the 2021 version in that, you know, he's winning down the field, you know, at a good clip, right? He's getting targets down the field. You you saw it in the 2022 film that he was able to win vertically. He's able to win as a route runner, right? Quarterback play definitely contributed to the fall in production, but so did the drops. And so there's a lot that I think, you know, you can blame game wherever you want, but I do think Wicks has to get back to the 2021 version to see his best self at the NFL level. And I think he can do that, right? It's just about cleaning up a lot of the drops. And again, consistently working on hand timing through contact. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Dontavian Wicks. If you did, throw a like down there, subscribe if you're new. Uh, let me know what else you want to see on the channel. Uh, but we got some more film rooms coming up very soon. I will catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.